Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. We had a question on one of our Elementor videos and they were asking how do you get a video section with a text overlay? And it really is absolutely simple. I've, I've chucked in a call to action button here as well and I'll show you exactly how to do it. So let's edit this page with Elementor. And we'll start from scratch. I'll just delete this whole section. Okay, you just need to decide what you want in your section. I'm going to have a heading. And I'm going to leave it just like that. And we'll put in a bit of text, because I'm sure you've got something to say. I'm putting it in the same row, just underneath it. And let's add a button as well for good measure. And I'll make the button same color as that. I've got a free Chrome color picker here. I'm using Google Chrome. Let's go into our button. We're already there. Go to the style. And I'll just paste that hex code in there. There we go. And of course, I'm sure you know how to edit a button. Just go in there, put whatever link you want in there, put whatever caption you want in there. And with the color, you can have a regular one or normal and a hover one you can set a completely different color if you want to let's just chuck a, another crazy color in there that will do fine so on hover it's going to be that dark color let's make it a little bit brighter let's make it something like that there we go and on normal it'll be that blue so we'll call this your little hero section here you've got everything in there you want there now you just want a, a video and to do this, it can be easier. Let's go into the section, the blue tab right at the top here. Just click on it. And you, if you want your content spread full width of the screen, you can spread it here. I'm going to leave mine exactly like that. It's fine. I think I'll give it a little bit more height, top and bottom. So to do that, I'm going to go to my advanced padding. I'm going to uncheck the chain because I just want to do top and bottom. So I'm going to give it 150 top. There. Yeah. Let's give it 200. Why not? And 200 on the bottom. So we've got a reasonable size section to see some video. And to add your video, we simply go to style, to background type, and you've got classic color, gradient, video, which we're going to use, or slideshow. And classic. You can just put a background color or a black background image if you want to. So let's add a video and it'll support YouTube, Vimeo and MP4 uploads will work too. So we're going to add a YouTube video. I'm going to go over to YouTube. I've found a nice time lapse video here. I'm going to hit the share button. I'm going to go copy the URL right there. Now it's copied. I'm simply going to paste it in here. And as you can see, it starts playing straight away. And if you wanted to, you could start it 30 seconds in or however many seconds in you wanted to start it. And you could have it end at a specific time also. Now I want to change the color of my text here. I can't really see that so I'm going into the little text module I'm going to go to the style text color just make that white there we go we can see that a lot better now back into our section here the blue tab you've also got an option for a background overlay if you can't read your text properly there you can put a background overlay on there so let's just use a color I'm going to use black for convenience and then you can just slide the opacity down as far as you want the amount of darkness you want on there all the way to the left is nothing at all further right you bring it the darker it's going to get so that works absolutely perfectly for me so let's update and see what we've got here preview the changes and there it is, a full width video section with text overlay and call to action button also. 
so easy to do. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.